Hey YouTube, um, I don't speak English fluid, but I'll try my best. Okay, this is actually my small hydro system. This here is about 500 watts, but of course you don't get 500 watts out exactly out of it. About 450 or 400 watts. Okay, I'll show you how it works actually. It's, let me just get to, to the other side quickly. Okay, my pull is 1.3 meters, so actually what happens is it's, as the vortex is, as you can see down here, it actually it makes some sort of suction, so it actually produces a lot more power. Without this venturi, it won't give you 400 or 350, it won't give you the much power you need, so you need to have a venturi here. Yeah? Just show you quickly. Left side, I'm still, I'm still thinking of what I'm gonna do. I actually think I'm gonna put a water wheel, a water wheel again. You can see here's my previous one. When the flood came, it actually took it completely out. So um, yeah, well, the next one would be much different and hopefully much better. Okay, it produces AC watts, AC power, 300 volts maximum. And then it goes through this cable here. I still need to tie it up here. Yeah. But just to show you guys the progress. It goes from here. Here you can see my previously generator that I made. They're actually uh, quite a waste actually. It didn't work that much. That good. <laughs> at its max maybe it produces 100 watts. At its max. Okay, yeah, and then power goes here. Yeah. To my control box and the light for that time for peace of mind when I watch out of out of the house. Actually see that the generator is running. See then the cable comes goes from here all the way down there goes to the left to the house. And I'll show you my off-grid system when I'm up at the house. Right, okay. My solar panels actually goes to this up back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's about. Oh man, can't see. Alright, at the moment it gives me about 900 watts. Alright, whatever. Alright, from here, from the river, the turbines cables come actually from this side. All the way down this control box here. I'm still working on a dump load. Uh, I'll figure something out. Actually, the turbine goes from here, then gives power to this plug, then it runs my 24 volt meanwhile charger. Yes, and from that goes to this battery bank. Okay. 1050 amp hours and from here we go actually here to my inverter it's a total off-grid inverter actually Chinese it's about in for three years now and have not have any problems from it yet this actually powers our whole farm except for the you know the irrigation pump systems and that kind of stuff but it actually does um, it's actually able to supply us with drinking water, the bowl. But um, I just wanted to show you guys, and if you have any questions, please free, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to be helping you. And this is the solar panels. You can see they got six of them, and they're both 250 watts each. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually a little bit too high voltage. That's why I need the dump blade. I need it to be exactly 220 volts. There you can see the kicks in the back here. Now it's absorbing again. And yeah, as you can see from the outback regulator as well. It's, it's now bulk. So, the limit is going to 